Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Christy Lockett of Christy L Holistic Healing Center. And today I just want to share a brief video about the heart chakra. Okay, so I'll just give you brief information. The heart chakra is the fourth of seven chakras, or um, people also call it energy centers. Um, that's what I usually like to call it for, for those who aren't familiar with the word chakra. I'll say energy centers that each being possesses in their body. Okay? So the heart chakra. Notice that green in the background. How does that make you feel? For me, it's very refreshing. It just has a positive energy, just a breath of life and a breath of fresh air, sort of like going outside, you know, if you're at work, going outside, getting some fresh air, seeing the trees and the flowers and the gardens, um, just help you breathe easier, just enlightens and brightens your day. So what is the heart chakra? It is the fourth of seven chakras or energy sensors, as stated before. Um, basically each being possesses it. Animals, people, everyone. Um, it has the capacity to be open, closed, or blocked. And we will discuss that in going further into the video. Okay. So where is the heart chakra located? The heart chakra is located in what we call the sternum. So the sternum is the breastbone. You can, um, if you look at your body, this is located between your chest or for females, located between your breasts. So i.e. that's why it's called the breastbone. Um, medical terminology, it is called the sternum. The Sanskrit name for the heart chakra is Anahata. I'm probably not the best at saying it, but Anahata. So a Sanskrit name is just an official language um, for Hindu, Buddhist, and different mantras. Um, so the heart chakra's Sanskrit name is Anahata, or you can just call it the heart chakra. Basically means, and the significance behind the heart chakra is unhurt, unstuck, or unbeaten, okay? So qualities, positive qualities, or positive affirmations that you can use would be harmonizing, giving and accepting, love, and forgiving. So you can say things like, I am loved, I love myself today, I love others, I am open to giving and receiving love, I forgive. I am forgiven. So those are just some examples of positive affirmations um, related to the heart chakra, okay? All right, love. So basically the heart chakra, it's all about love. Giving love, receiving love, loving yourself, loving others. So chakras not only, okay, I'm a Reiki practitioner, so chakras not only deals with Reiki, but I mean, yoga, meditation, all of this is really all about balancing the chakras. And the heart chakra centers around love. So Reiki is universal life force energy, which I consider God, and God is love. Appearance and colors. So the color associated with this chakra is green. The color associated with the heart chakra is green. So other colors may include gold or pink, but majority is green. And I like to leave green because I use gold or pink to associate with the crown chakra. Um, the heart chakra 
consists of 16 small vertices that rotate forward and backward. It is represented by a 16 petal lotus or flower. Um, so sometimes you can have sicknesses or ailments not only in the front of your heart chakra located near your breastbone, but you can also have them in the back. So it can be upper back pain, it can be heart disease, lung disease, various things like that. It's also associated with your arms and your hands as well. So make sure you take care of your heart, okay? Love yourself before anyone else can. You can take care of your heart by eating right, exercising, um, meditating, getting energy healing sessions, going for a walk, using essential oils. Just There's many, many ways um, to take care of your heart. So that's something to keep in consideration for today. All right, so I kind of briefly discussed the Reiki, but Reiki can help. In balancing your heart chakra if you're having blockages even if you are doing well in this area it, it, it won't hurt to have Reiki um, it's just a positive universal life force energy healing basically it reduces stress and anxiety and depression and in turn it, it, it provides various benefits so related to the heart it can decrease blood pressure, decrease stress levels, which can ultimately decrease your risk of having a heart attack, different things like that. So there are many positive benefits. So Reiki can help. You can visit my website at www.christielhhc.com. My shop is www.chhcshop.com. You can call at 504-399-8088. And the name is Christiel Holistic Healing Center. Okay, and that's me. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching my video. Um, this is just the beginning. There's more to come. If you like this video or if this helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. Also, um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please put that below. Also, you can visit my website where I have my blog. Um, if you know, if you like reading or looking at different resources that would be helpful to you. Also, email is christielhhc at yahoo.com. Sorry for the blurriness. Um, christielhhc at gmail.com. And reiki, R-E-I-K-I, at christielhhc.com. Thank you.